if you need to use fixed widths but they are not all exactly the same so in this case it looks like the first three characters are what we want then the next five then the next three so yes we could use the dash but let's pretend we can't for now we want to use fixed width so we can get it into power query so that's fine when we want to use fixed width now so it looks like we need to do three then there's a dash then five then there's a dash when I go to split columns and I decide to use number of characters so the first one looks like I want to do three characters it's great notice there's nowhere for me to now say well then do five then do three I can either repeat it in which case I'll get some nonsensical numbers or I have to do left or right so the way around this is you're going to just have to do multiple steps so notice I've said once as far left as possible so okay so I've done the first part second one I'm then going to go to this one and say okay now we need to split those ones so again it's going to be split column by number of characters and maybe now just so I can pull out the dash I'm going to say by one character see I made a mistake there I left the repeatedly on I'm just going to get rid of that get rid of that so you'll be very careful but you can see the undo works well split column by number of characters one but far left and so if you have to you might have to continue like that so we're going to say by five as far left as possible so you'll see slowly but surely we're working our way through it so we're going to do one now we're a little bit careful here notice it's gone to minus one because it's a number so I'm just going to say no I don't want to change that type I actually want to see minus zero zero one then split that column by number of characters one far left again it's gone made it a one depending on what you want you may or may not want that just gonna get rid of this so now what you have is you've managed to split it into fixed width columns and then depending on what you need to do you may need to delete some columns move them around etc so just be careful every time you do that just look at what the result is and make sure that power query hasn't made some changes that will come back to haunt you a bit later